The Richmond Football Club is in damage control tonight. Richmond coach Damien Hardwick has cut short his weekly media conference after a veteran journalist quizzed him about allegations two of his players had groped a teammate. Two Premiership Tigers have apologised, Jaden Short and Nick Vlosten. Richmond's culture is widely seen as key to their recent success, but post-match vision from recent games has brought that culture into question. Vlossen says he's embarrassed. Short admits his behaviour was unacceptable. Quite immature and a bit silly. But from the point of view of whether it's criminal, maybe not. Marbio Chol, for his part in all this, uh, he says he didn't take any offence to any of the behaviour directed towards him. The Tigers, as a playing group as a whole, have uh, said they won't let this happen again. The other thing I wanted to talk about, the Marbio situation. Um, so it was first brought to our attention by simply emails coming through to the info hotline, as you've seen. You know, it was embarrassing for the club and the players involved, reflected poorly on the club and... My concern was, you know, I mean, how it could potentially impact Marbior. Do you, do you even feel safe enough to raise this? I, I find it quite bizarre. I think it's, uh, it's, it's very difficult to explain where it fits into the ethos of the club. I, I think we've been damaged by it. Yeah, you know, I, I, my, my concern wasn't so much about the optics of this. The optics were embarrassing. It reflected Paul in the club and we... You know, that, that put that aside. My concern was what it said about us. What it says about, you know, it says about our leadership, our leadership and driving, our culture. At the end of the day, it's, it's a, it's a wake-up call. I think we get marked particularly hard. You can imagine we've, we've received lots of letters about it, but there was one letter that rationally covered all the issues about, well, what do I tell my son? What do I tell about um, Richmond? You know, they've been the model of uh, inclusion and diversity. And, and you, you can't answer that. What do you say? We're sorry. You know, it sets you back. I was it probably as angry about that as I've been about anything. But from what Brendan told me is they are truly repentant. Given that they've reflected on it without any intervention by us, at first instance, encourages me. We prided ourselves on our on our culture and the way we do things, and um, this is um, a setback we didn't need right now. Uh, you just got to get through it. Yep. I'm sure that it doesn't happen again.